Whether it's ski or sun, slopes or sand, fly from Norwich this winter. The Pink and Show, sponsored by Flybee. Oh yes, the tactics it's board back. is out for tactics made easy. Yeah. Uh, now, um, the thing that I got asked sort of a lot in the aftermath of, of Saturday, why don't Norwich play three at the back, Darren? <laughs> now, is that well, possible? Have they got the personnel? Can they do that? Well, I, I think actually the way they're playing at the moment isn't too dissimilar to that because they like their full backs to get forward too much anyway and they are playing with two central defensive midfielders. One drop to back tends to be into a back three anyway, so they tend to play with a back three with Teddy sitting in front of those two centre-backs. The problem with a, with, with a traditional one, you've got to have three really good defenders um, look, their first job is to defend in those areas because they're, they're going to get pulled all over the place because the fullbacks, as a, as a five, I played at Leicester as, as a wing back, and you get forward a lot and you get a big open gaps in the wide areas, so they're going to get dragged out. So they need to be really, the communication needs to be fantastic. And that's thing, I think one thing we haven't seen at Norwich this season in terms of defensively is the communication between the back three or four hasn't been brilliant. And, you, and, and particularly, I think they'll get exposed even more if they play a three at the back. The one benefit of doing it is you do have two up front. And you will get wide and you will get crosses in the box. And here's a little stat for you. I've been watching Match Day at the weekend. Did it on Sunday. Did it, watched, looked at every single Premier League goal. Out of 33 goals scored, 21 of them came from crosses or wide areas. And that's not even including the ones that built up and started in widening, came in and scored goals. So they've got to get more width. They don't play with width. Playing, playing as a three and a five, you're going to get that. But for me, it doesn't matter what system you play. If you've got the personnel to do that, you have to do that. You've got Josh Murphy, you've got Jacob Murphy, you can play wide. Play could you, could you could you play them as what you couldn't play them as wing backs though surely if you no probably not I'd I'd play them as a, as a standard four four two but the problem is you've got with Jacob and because they play inverted they they're always coming in towards again into those areas which, which tend to get packed out and that's the thing with Norwich whenever I've seen Norwich play well whenever I've seen a team play really well they play with lots of width and we don't have that we haven't had that for probably eighteen months now in terms of the way the team sets up. And I don't mind if, if Alex Neal sticks to his team and, and plays the system he likes when it's working. But when, it, when it's not, you've got to be able to change things up a little bit. Um, and, and he's often brought two on up front, but we then don't see any width yeah. when he brings the two on up front. So it's, it's a very difficult one, but you've got to have width, especially in championship. Well, we'll keep that there. And we did play three at the back a couple of times last year, didn't he? Although it was effectively five at the back and sit as deep as you can and we'll hope for the best. The Normally best. at sides where Norwich were probably going to get hammered. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I just don't... My question is the defence. I, I'm afraid I don't think they are good enough. Um, when you look at the back, well, the back four, we'll say, um, apart from closer, the rest of them have been here for four years, and we, it's endemic that that defence has been pretty rubbish for the past four years. It's never been solid. We had so we haven't really had a really strong defence since the likes of Worthington under you know, Mackay and Fleming. It, and in those four years as well, that, that, there's, no, there's been no real consistency no. To, to that defence, and that's been a huge problem for Norwich. And, and, and so I'd, I'd expect closer now. He's been here long enough. He's the one with all the experience. He should be the one who's battering those players around him, getting them going. And, and he doesn't seem to do yeah. that. They all seem to play very individually at the back. He was I supposed mean, to be the captain, wasn't he? The muted is a yeah. possible captain. It got discussed definitely. I mean, have Norwich got? three centre-backs or those personnel that they can play in that situation, how would you play them? I don't think they have. Uh, I think if you're going to play, you've got to play Russell Martin, Bennett and closer. But at the minute, I don't think there is. I don't think they've got the right personnel to play a three at the back. It's interesting how Chelsea, for example, and, and, and Andrew, uh, <laughs> and Andrea Conte, Andrea? And, uh, Conte. Antonio. Conte. Antonio Conte, yeah. thank you. Um, uh, he, he gave it a go at 4-4-2, then mm. as soon as that went wrong, he switched it really quickly. And it, it seemed to... No, change really different, quickly. different personnel though I, I just think we're, we're so slow at the back in terms of our, our pace we've literally got nothing at the back so if, the, if a team comes and plays two up against a three our, uh, against our back four and, and our wing backs is in a five push forward ever so much you're in trouble mm. because we've we got, we got, no, we got no reaction to that there's no pace at the back to combat it yeah. it's interesting that we've had a few teams from the championship come and play three at the back against Norwich as well though, so they've had to deal with that because they've one up, they won up front it's easy it's, easy. it's so much easier when you've got three defenders to pick up one player yeah. So much more difficult. You stick two up against them, they won't play three at the back. You say about the wings, that chap who leads on at half time on Saturday made such a difference and they would absolutely terrorise it in our, uh, down, down the flanks and we had nothing to stop them. I don't think we're going to see it any time soon then, are we? OK, uh, we have got to head for our first, bake, uh, first break of the show. Whether it's ski or sun, slopes or sand, fly from Norwich this winter. 
The Pink and Show, sponsored by Flybee. 